What's powerful about this project is that it's one small facility that uh, could potentially be an example of how you can incrementally rebuild Haiti in a much cleaner, um, better way. United for Sustainable America is a uh, nonprofit uh, based here in Florida. What we do is bring together policymakers, engineers, private sector, and government to make the business case for sustainability. Well, Haiti has had its challenges. They were on the upswing. Their standard of living was getting better. Then the earthquake came. It destroyed their habitat, their infrastructure. Now they're at ground zero. United for Sustainable America is working on the New Beginnings for Haiti Sustainable Economic Development Project. Not only meets an urgent need, but sees how to fulfill that need in an economical, sustainable way so that we don't just come in there and provide for a short-term need, but it's something that Haiti can use to preserve those scarce resources and build that infrastructure back up. We're doing a sustainable economic development case study where we're going to be working with the New Life Ministries orphanage in Port-au-Prince that was drastically affected by the earthquake that devastated the country and the land and the people. We're going to be doing a baseline analysis of their commodity consumption, how much resources they use, particularly and specifically energy and water consumption. We're working with the State of Florida's Office of Tourism, Trade and Economic Development, as well as PBS&J and American Green Media. We're gonna be installing a number of energy and water efficiency retrofits in order to save them money so they can spend more of their, their financial resources, less on energy and water, and more on the children, making sure that they're healthy, clean, fed, and happy. The challenges, but also the reward of this project would be figuring out cost-effective, sustainable ways of supplying clean, potable water, also sanitary sewage system. We can look at solar panels, wind turbines. These types of systems not only will help them to have a cleaner environment, but it'll also lend themselves towards energy independence. So you need technology that's that's appropriate for Haiti. You're not gonna have engineers on site to fix problems as they go, so they need to be self-maintained. Dry composting toilets is probably one that's a natural fit for this kind of project. Having hand pump wells is, is very uh, culturally appropriate. Good technology and, and a reliable source of energy. There's usually somebody willing to pump that water. This is a, a, a great example of what United for Sustainable America does, which is bring those technologies, bring the, the policy, bring the uh, engineers, provide uh, goods and services and basic infrastructure around the world. Haiti's development obviously has to be sustainable moving forward. They've got the opportunity to skip 100 years of development and move right to where we're trying to go and help them leapfrog to the future that we ourselves need. To see what has happened there to our neighbor, it's heartbreaking to know that we're so close and that we can offer this assistance to them. It's an opportunity to give back. The things that make a community prosper, both economically and as a community as a whole, is having the basic needs met, having a clean, reliable, potable water supply, having a reliable source of energy like electricity, having a road system that works and can distribute food, having a good, sustainable food supply. Those things are essential. This is an opportunity to take what we know and teach them and develop them into even a model that maybe we should replicate in order to ensure a world that we can all prosper in. They have the spirit, the desire to develop. They're in need of assistance, and this is the perfect opportunity to go down there and to help them rebuild their society and to realize their dreams.